Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play World to the West Blind. In the last episode, we accomplished quite a bit. We explored that one temple area, where is it? Right over here. And fought that rocket-powered orphanage chick lady boss again as Lumina. She managed to steal the last core, but with one of them in our possession, Tycoon is unable to fully control this weather machine. However, that has not stopped him from trying to activate it in the first place. So, with that thing being activated, we now have to get into this aqueduct area so that we can lower the water level to the lake, allowing us to get access. Alright, so let's head over this way, ignore all the enemies as best I can. I had almost forgotten that I had this uh, totem as Terry. So, the reason I'm playing as Terry now is because... At the end of the last episode, we reached some sort of area that pretty much forced us to use a bunch of different characters. Is there a baboon around here? Please, a baboon. I need a baboon. Because, yeah, there's a bunch of health upgrades here. It does not look like it. Am I even able to get across? Okay, I am. Good. So I guess none of those upgrades are for uh, Terry. Alright, so let's head over to where we need to, which I believe is off in this direction. Yes, it looks like it. Quick shot across. At the very least, I can grab this totem that's right here in this room. And... Boom. Alright, does she say anything now? So you do believe any of this. Okay, it's the exact same thing that was said before. Darn. That's unfortunate. Alright, so what can Terry do around here? If there is a fish here, I could, you know, like, take control of one of those. Um, well, it did just occur- oh, there is a fish around here. Hold on. It did also just occur to me that there's a couple different entrances to this place. So perhaps each character also has their own entrance to do. Anything over here? Doesn't really look like it. Oh wait, there's more for Lumina to do this way if I take that same path. Okay, well, I'm already Terry, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the Terry stuff. And I believe she's the only one who can access this area over here. So I'll just remember that there's still some stuff that I can do as Lumina in that other screen. Uh, I don't see a fish around here. But there is a totem just up here. So let's grab that. This kind of looks like a Nouse area, but since Terry's the only one that I can see who can access this screen, it might just be a Flail Monk area. Oh, okay, that's... Alrighty then, let's do it. Oh, oh, dead, dead, dead. Oh. Okay. So it looks like you gotta do it in one straight shot. You don't really have any room for error. And save points a little far away from my liking, but uh, what? That has to be a glitch, right? This has to be a glitch, okay. Alright, let's wait for one of them to go down, and as soon as it passes, let's do this. Quick! Oh, no, no! Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, oh, no! Jeez, wow, this is tough. Alright, maybe I do need to run the whole time. I'm just... I'm just afraid that I'm going to screw up my hook shot. But I guess... It's better to screw up the hook shot than it would be to... Oh, okay. Okay, so close. Oh, no, oh, oh! Yeah! Dude, Terry is a platforming master. Alright, so it looks like activating that switch turned those lightning rods off, which is definitely handy. Definitely needed that to be the case. Okay, and nothing over here? Not really, okay. So that's Terry's side of the thing, I guess. However, I will control a flail monk real quick and see if there's anything to do over here. Oh, oh, oh. Run, little guy! This is probably Naus only, but I don't know how he's going to get over here. Yeah, because he can't activate switches. This flail monk, that is. 
So that is the scroll that showed how everyone was flourishing, isn't it? Yeah, see right there on the right. That's the exact same thing. Except without the founder's face on it. Interesting. Eh, I don't really need the flail monk, so I have plenty to spare. Alright, so Terry's job is done for now, it would seem. Let's go back as Clonington. And... Darn, but I explored this area pretty thoroughly as Clonington an episode or two ago. Yeah, the one before last. And I did not find a way for Clonington to get into this place. So maybe I should play as Nels. It has been a little while. Before I even went to that one temple that required all of the... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? All the scrolls. I did not play Nels as trying to search for scrolls. Mostly because I didn't really see much exploring that I needed Nels for. I mean, obviously I'm missing a lot, but... Right off the bat, I didn't see anything, so I didn't really play as him. Alright. So, just gotta take the long walk over here. I did notice that these ice skates have a fairly large cooldown on land, but when you're on water, that cooldown's pretty short, actually, so... That's a neat little touch. Kind of makes sense. It would be easier for the ice skates to freeze the water rather than generate ice on the land. Okay, so it looks like this might be where I need to go. Just over here. Hop down here and grab a sky radish. Hop. So where is this going to take me? Over here? I guess so. Boop. Now, let's grab a totem. And let's just see if I can't figure out a way to get Nels over here. Yes, so two are activated. Good. Now, what I am conf confused about is how I'm going to get anyone up there. I guess if I were to get Lumina around, maybe she has to take a long way around and that's how she gets over there. Alright, so... Ah, uh, yes, water. Nels can get over here. Whoops! Stun him. Stun, there we go. Cool. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that was Terry only. I completely spaced that. I, Nels has his ice skates. You know, kind of the biggest, most important thing about Nels. We do. This is so fun. I really love this. Okay, but I guess there's nothing over here. Where I need to go is over here. I thought. Maybe I can't do anything on the water. I guess not. I do need to come through here. So now this section seems to be pretty easy. I mean, I know I can't really do anything to the robots, but with an ice skate, I can get across fairly safely. Alright, activate that. And now all we have left is Clonington. Uh, I guess I could hop down here, but I want to hit that totem first. Alright, all that's left is Lord Clonington. I will have to transfer him over in this direction to see if there is a chance. Oh, I didn't realize that I could just do this. Alright. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't really get me anywhere. That's right, I actually did that the first time I explored here. Alright, well, I don't need to be sidetracked anyways. I'm actually making a decent amount of progress in this episode, so let's try and keep that up if we can. Oh, lock him. Now, what is the entrance that Clonington needs to use? He can... I mean, I tried climbing up here as him earlier, but there's not really much he can do. And this is the area that I also tried exploring as him before. And that didn't really get me anywhere either. My best bet is honestly to just get him over here, but I don't know how I'm going to do that since Clonington can no way possible make that jump. And Sky Radishes won't let him fly either. So maybe there's just something over here that I'm missing. Alright. Well, he can climb, and so being in this screen, there might be something for him to do. Yeah, too tall to climb here. But I assume two on the left, two on this side. So yeah, there's definitely an open switch over here, so... Maybe Clonington needs to do a little bit of climbing over here. Anything? Anything? Maybe? 
It's climbing over here, I guess, but... What about over here? Okay, I do see a switch. It's over here. Okay, and there's a place for me to climb. And some gongs, alright. Uh, okay, so... Looks like I do still need Lumina. Wow, this game really does make you use Lumina a lot, don't doesn't it? Alright, heading back over. Let's grab Lumina. I'll probably go ahead and grab that scroll too while I'm at it if I can. Alright, blink to s well, I guess I need to head over here first. Alright. And... Blink across. Oh. Duh? Okay. Wow, I'm not very bright, am I? So how am I going to get her up there, though? I thought I had figured it out by doing this, but... I guess not. Okay, well, there is this blink gate here, so... There must be a reason for that. Although I'm not really seeing one right off the bat. Maybe I just need to exit that way and come through a different way? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I have a save point, so... Alright, so this takes me out... Oh yeah, it's over here, okay. So there's a blink gate there. So let's hop down here, look across. Knock this guy out, knock this guy out. And, like that. I assume the water level will decrease once we complete this place. Alright, anything down here? I don't really see anything. Can I make this? I can. Right. Hmm. But what do I do and where do I go? Wait. Oh, not quite enough. And I don't think I'll be able to use my super blink because nothing's of the same elevation. And I could take that way to get into that room, but I don't think that room really does much for me, does it? Oh, oh. And I was on a roll getting so much accomplished. I feel like now I'm just spinning tires. Yeah, yeah, it's this room. Okay, so what exactly am I missing? I obviously need to get Lumina up there. That's too high for me from this spot. So I need to find a way for her to get up to this platform. Oh, okay. Duh, I see it now. Well, I kind of did. If I was up on this little ledge here, I could blink across to there, but how does she get up there? She can't climb. I wish she could. I wish Clonington could pick her up and throw her up there. Come on, dude. Yeah, he's just gonna say the same thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, seriously, I need to get up there, and I just don't see how I'm gonna do that. This area here doesn't even help me either. I don't know why that blink gate is there. It makes me think that I need to do something over here. Oh man, I'm so lost. And there's nothing else over here. Nothing else in this switch room. Doesn't look like it. Nope. And nope. Okay. Lovely. Do 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 do. Um. Is there something else that I'm missing as another character? I don't really think that would be the case, but I suppose it's a possibility. Is there another way to enter this area? There is. There's some way over here in, from this underground path. But it looks like it's all water, so Lumina can't really do anything about that. Not really any way around it. I have to figure out how to get her up that one temple. Hmm. And I can't bounce. Wait, maybe I can bounce. Bounce, bounce. Well, I killed that guy, but that didn't really help me. Alright. Ah, uh, darn guys. I'm sorry, but I'm stuck again. I'm so bad at this game. Okay. And she can't even walk up that. Really? Wow. How impressive. Okay. Seriously, though, how do I get her up there? Let's uh, try and swap back to Clonington just to see if there's anything that I missed as him. Coming up here. There's other stuff for other characters to do, but why? 
none of the other characters can really get over here, can they? I mean, I guess Naus probably could. Wait, so three gongs. I'm gonna need... I mean, I guess Lumina could hit it all three times, probably. Oh, oh, sorry. I needed some action to break up the monotony. Alright, yeah, I... I need to get the others over here. And actually, with ice skates and fishies, I think I can get the others over here. So let's start with Terry. Warp her back over here. And her walk across this way. Wait. That puddle of water stops, though. Ow. Okay. So if I can't do that, then what do I do? Okay, Terry can't do anything. Let's try now. He has ice skates, so he can get over there. But first off, let's send him to the right totem. Oh man, this getting lost thing is putting me well over time. Sorry about that, guys. Um, in the next episode, I will do my best to figure out what it is that I'm doing wrong over here. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, well, yeah. Remember to have a blessed day, and of course, I'll see you in the next episode.